Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, I know what you're thinking. Another day, another royal drama. But trust me, this one's a doozy. We're talking pregnancy conspiracies, fake baby bums, and enough plot twists to make even the writers of The Crown blush. So what's the tea? Well, hold on to your fascinators, because Lady Colin Campbell, yes, that Lady C, the one who's never met a royal secret she didn't want to spill, has just dropped a bombshell that's shaking the very foundations of Buckingham Palace. According to Lady C, Meghan Markle's pregnancy with little Archie might have been, wait for it, completely fake. I know, I know, it sounds like something straight out of a tabloid headline. But before you dismiss it as just another crazy conspiracy theory, let's dive into the details. Lady C claims she's got photographic evidence that shows Meghan's belly looking flatter than a pancake when she was supposedly five to seven months pregnant. Now, I'm no expert on baby bumps, but last I checked, they don't usually come with a deflate button. She's pointing to pictures from Meghan's baby shower and various royal engagements, saying there's no sign of the usual pregnancy weight gain. No puffy face, no swollen arms, nothing. It's like Meghan found the secret to the world's most convenient pregnancy. Sign me up for that, am I right, ladies? But wait, there's more. Lady C's also questioning those admirable photos of Meghan and Harry cradling newborn Archie. She's suggesting they might be as staged as a Real Housewives reunion show. The audacity. And if that wasn't enough to make your monocle pop out in shock, Lady C claims she's got text messages proving Meghan told her friends she had no plans to get pregnant for at least two years after the wedding. Yet there's Archie, popping up faster than you can say royal succession. Now, I know what you're thinking, but what about all those public appearances where we saw Meghan's bump? Well, according to Lady C, that might have been nothing more than a very convincing cushion. Move over. Oscar-winning actors, we've got a new champion of method acting right here. But here's where it gets really wild. Lady C says she's got a doctor who's analyzed the photos and found that the shape, position, and movement of Meghan's supposed baby bump are about as consistent as British weather. In other words, something's fishy in the state of Sussex. Now let's take a step back for a moment and consider the implications if, and that's a big if, any of this is true. We're talking about a deception on a scale that would make Shakespearean tragedies look like children's bedtime stories. Imagine the meetings that would have had to take place. Right, so we're going to pretend Meghan's pregnant, fake a birth, and then present a random baby to the world as the newest royal. Everyone cool with that? Great, let's break for tea. The mind boggles at the logistics of it all. Did they have a casting call for baby Archie? Seeking. Infant with ginger hair potential and a tolerance for Corgis. Was there a team dedicated to scheduling Meghan's fake bump appearances? Did they have emergency prosthetics on standby in case of wardrobe malfunctions? And let's not forget about Harry and all this. If this wild theory is true, it would mean he was in on it too. Picture poor Harry trying to keep a straight face every time someone congratulated him on impending fatherhood. That's some next-level acting right there. Someone get this man an Emmy. But here's the thing that really gets me. If Meghan and Harry really did pull off this elaborate charade, they'd have to be criminal masterminds on a level that would make Ocean's Eleven look like amateur hour. And let's be honest, these are the same people who couldn't figure out how to navigate royal protocol without causing an international incident every other week. So, what are we to make of all this? Well, as your friendly neighborhood royal watcher, I'm here to tell you, take it all with a grain of salt, or better yet, an entire salt shaker. Let's remember that Lady C, bless her heart, has been known to stir the pot more often than the royal chefs stir the queen's porridge. She's got a knack for making claims that are about as verifiable as Bigfoot sightings. And let's not forget, we're talking about a pregnancy that was witnessed by millions of people around the world. Doctors, nurses, royal staff, there'd have to be an awful lot of people in on this conspiracy. It's starting to sound less like a royal scandal and more like an episode of The X-Files. But here's the real kicker, even if it were true, and that's a bigger if than the crown jewels, does it really matter? I mean, sure, 
It would be the scandal of the century. It would make Watergate look like a parking ticket. But at the end of the day, Archie is still a cute kid, Harry and Meghan still seem happy, and the rest of us still have our own lives to worry about. So what's the takeaway from all this royal hullabaloo? Well, for one, it's a reminder that the truth is often stranger than fiction, or in this case, maybe not quite as strange. It's also a testament to our endless fascination with the royal family. I mean, here we are, dissecting the possibility of a fake pregnancy, like it's the JFK assassination. But perhaps most importantly, it's a reminder to always, always question what we see and hear, especially when it comes to celebrities and royals. After all, the image they present to the world is often as carefully crafted as a royal wedding cake. So, what do you think, dear viewers? Is this the scandal of the century, or just another tempest in a royal teapot? Are we looking at a conspiracy that would make the moon landing hoax theorists blush, or is this just another case of overactive imaginations run wild? Whatever the truth may be, one thing's for certain, this royal drama is far from over, so keep your eyes peeled, your ears open, and your skepticism firmly in place, because in the wild world of royal watching, the only thing we can be sure of is that there's always another surprise around the corner, and who knows, Maybe next week we'll be discussing how Prince Charles is actually a lizard person or how the Corgis are the real power behind the throne. In the meantime, keep calm and carry on watching this royal soap opera unfold. After all, it's the best free entertainment we've got. So stay tuned, my friends, because if there's one thing I've learned from watching the royals, it's that the drama never stops, and neither do I. Until then folks thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family, thank you.